Hello friends, I Zaira Bhatia welcome you to my YouTube channel Maths DNA from origin to infinity. In this video, we are going to discuss a question of linear algebra June 2019 CSIR net mathematics. But before that, let me share something with you that if you are preparing for any higher mathematics competitive exam and looking for material or topic wise and combined test series, then you can register on the link given below in the description. Moving on to the question, the question is let Pax denote the characteristic polynomial of a matrix A. Then for which of the following matrices Pax minus Pa inverse x is a constant? The options are A, a 2 cross 2 matrix whose entries are 3, 3, 2, 4. B, again a 2 cross 2 matrix with entries 4, 3, 2, 3. C, a 2 cross 2 matrix with entries 3, 2, 4, 3. And option D, a 2 cross 2 matrix with option uh, with entries 2, 3, 3, 4. I would recommend you to pause the video over here and first try this question by yourself and revise the definition of characteristic polynomial for a 2 cross 2 matrix. Moving on to the solution, we know that for a 2 cross 2 matrix, the characteristic polynomial can be directly found. There is a shortcut method that is Px equals to x square minus trace of a into x plus determinant of a. Similarly, for a inverse, Pa inverse x will be equals to x square minus trace of a inverse into x plus determinant of a inverse. Now, as per our question, it is given to us that Px minus Pa inverse x equals to constant. Using the above given two equations and let us solve the third one, we get x square minus trace of a plus determinant of a minus x square plus trace of a inverse x minus determinant of a inverse equals to c. x square get eliminates and the terms with x and the constants are taken together. This gives us trace of a inverse minus trace of a into x plus determinant of a minus determinant of a inverse minus c equals to 0. Now on the right hand side the equation is 0 which means that the trace of a inverse minus trace of a into x has to be 0 which implies that trace of a inverse minus trace of a equals to 0 and which further implies trace of a inverse equals to trace of a because we can adjust our values or we can get values depending on a and a inverse but there is no variable on the right hand side containing x so the variable which is on the left hand side contains x so the coefficient of that variable has to be 0 which gives us trace of a inverse equals to trace of a. Now using this result just find the trace of all the matrices and their inverse you will get it as the correct answer is option c whose trace of a inverse and trace of a are 6 and you can easily find that simply you just need to see that where is the determinant 1 because there the trace will not change will remain equal. The option is 3, 2, 4, 3. The determinant is 1 so the trace remains same. Thank you and you can be a member of our social club and watch 90 plus videos on our YouTube channel and get a complete study material for any higher mathematics competitive exam on our Telegram channel.